Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing Copy Kitty, and it's time for something different. So, last time we hit what I feel like is an extremely important milestone. In hard mode, we went all the way down here and we defeated Arikon, which, I don't know if everyone will remember, was the last boss of the original version of Copy Kitty. Before Turbo, this is where the game ended. And I think that's a pretty good timing to do the Extra World, which we're gonna be playing... Like, I wanna play Normal Mode Extra World now. There's two reasons. One, it's like I said, I feel like the timing is very good in terms of thematic appropriateness. And two, I was told Extra World Hard is extremely post-game difficulty and like legitimately extremely challenging. So I want time to be time between normal and hard. Like I'm gonna play normal now and play the hard version after we beat the game properly. I think just makes like sense to have some degree of separation, but I have to unlock it. So I asked how to unlock it and I was told, like I, I just want like, a, a, a direction on how would you go about... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you got like little like checkpoints for Endless, which isn't necessarily Endless. Alright, well it's Endless. Okay, I'll start from the start and I'm just gonna go. So, all I know is that in Endless, at some point, you will encounter a, something. Like there's a special encounter, and once you do, this is it, you've unlocked the mode. So, the extra world. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work in terms of, uh, video. Like, I think you can kinda see here what's going on. This is like a wave mode, right? Like, you got a terrain that is self-constantly regenerating, with enemies kinda popping in. There's a randomized aspect to it. If you want to see a whole bunch of crazy uh, weapon combos, this is the mode for you. Um, and yeah, so I don't know how long this is gonna take. There's a possibility where I split this over like the time of several videos. Maybe I'll put them together. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But also, yeah, you got like, you got uh, endless only bosses. Well, that's just a powered up version of you. You're a normal enemy in hard mode. I've seen you before. Oh, Pandemonium is probably like hard mode than this, right? Wow, you got a lot of hell though. Like, I'm just barraging you here and you are just not selling it. It's very rude. Uh, please buy my stuff. <laughs> yeah! Under 20 seconds. See, now we're new wave, you get health back at full. Now we got bugs, uh, and like, so we saw that it said like, wave, like, one out of four or something in the, um, in the selection screen, so I'm guessing four bosses, uh, and then we end up in a brand new place, in a brand new universe. Oh jeez, I don't know what's going on with my dissolve laser, but I'm loving it. So the game has a stale mechanic. The more you use, like, a specific element, I believe it starts to do, like, the le le less damage. Uh, but right now, like, just, just with the ease of use this is, uh, I'm seeing no reason to change. Look at that. Get out of here, bug. Oh, no, you're trying to hide on the other side. Yeah, the screen is actually really thin. It is literally, like, one one screen wide. Maybe two screen wide. Uh, that's really funny. Look at that, bug! I ain't afraid of you! Balls defeated really slowly, by which I mean fast. And again, these little things. Warning! Oh, we're just going straight to... Okay, Jumbo, the two-faced orb of death with the homing beam. Oh, you're big. Okay, and the music changed. And I'm... Okay. Okay, okay, you might be like the, the actual boss of Spiders, please, but... Okay. Alright, I'm gonna kick you. How about that? Huh? You got any opinions about being kicked? Like, you're just huge, but I think like that's just kind of like your thing. Just check it out, I'm huge! And like your second head, the happy one, uh, has energy to share. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in a bad spot here. Alright, there we go. Devastated! Big numbers! The world is destroyed! I'm just sitting there. Alright, you dropped a heart, I think that's what happened. Okay! Weapon used was rather- it was direct! <laughs> yeah! 
give me a straight hit box that I can throw in my enemy's hurt box. And more often than not, I'm gonna be a happy kitty. So yeah, so like I said, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Like, let alone if I'm gonna like make it happen on my first try. So, I might, like I said, I might split this into multiple video. I don't know yet. I just do not know. I'm like, I this is something I dabbled with before, but like, it's also probably my biggest knowledge gap in all of Copy Kitty. Um, there's something I wanted to say, and I forgot what it was. I know, like, someone suggested that maybe it'd be wiser to wait to do this for the LP until I'm done. But, like, so whenever you close the game of Copy Kitty, you always get Savant that appears. And he says a little funny little something, like, You destroyed so many robots, or you caused so many explosions. Wow, you did it. Or, like, why are you turning off the game? I want to be immortal. Here's a Mario World Smasher. He doesn't say that ever, though. But, point is, sometimes he makes uh, mentions how Endless Mode is more or less, I get the sense, is meant to be like the main way to play this game. It's like the intended experience. It's like I spent too much time in single player mode or something. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit exaggerating, but I do get the sense that the devs really want you to be playing Endless. Like, early on in your Copy Kitty adventure. And so I feel like doing that in the middle of the playthrough is extremely appropriate. Oh man, that little guy! He exploded on the outside, so I helped him out by making him explode on the inside. You know, you gotta find balance into these things. Yeah, I have no real reason to want to change my straightforward way of attacking. I don't think I have to do this with Savant and, uh, I mean, like, so, doing certain things in this game unlocks certain things, right? So, like, I don't know if unlocking, like, if playing this with Savant is meaningful. At the risk of being rude, I don't know if I would go out of my way to do a oh, those poor little robots. Like, if I would go out of my way to do a Savant run, if I don't have to? Like, I've, I've started to love playing as him, but, you know, this is still the bulky game for me. Alright, there's a red arrow there. Little arrows are really handy, especially in a scenario like here, where like enemies will appear and then just land in a saw blade and get hurt, like a big doofus. It happens a lot. Uh, people just kind of dropping off screen slightly, being scary. I want things to be a bit more opened up as this thing combines a nail laser, darn shark mirror, and also a piece of mud. Yeah, it's not even a full mud. He only has a piece to offer me. And he has a little body mouse. Uh, body mouse. Whoa, look at that star power. Like, what is going on? Is that the dark annihilator? That's a dark reflector. My explosion powers don't care. I mean, I'm not doing as much damage as I could, but I'm also getting a critical notice, so probably doing something okay. Look at those gears! So is he gonna combine into the next real boss? Because now it's wave 20. Okay, so every tens is like, yeah, in Koyo's pro Shield Eye to Heart of Factory. It's a like, unique man. Oh, you have a little Arblon thing. Okay, can I just, okay, can, okay, it's just spheres with elements, but it's not, you gotta use this element here. It's just, no, it's the sphere of this element. You're overthinking this. Congrats. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do that and get that heart. That's right, I did that. Okay, so yeah, destroy the side elements, and then we'll... Whoa, I got Panther as an achievement. What does that mean? Alright, I'm a Panther, alright, I'm gonna pant you up! I don't know what that means, but it's what I said. Uh, explosion distortion! <laughs> oh, man. I don't need any of your toys. Uh, I got a blast that goes forward. Yeah, get out of here, eyeball. Uh, no, you know what? That's exciting. There's seven more. That means... Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, okay. Probably in accordance to the seven first worlds, I'm guessing. But they're not necessarily in order, because, yeah. Because we did Factory, which is, like, mid-game, and now we're back in Forest. So, yeah. So, same themes, but maybe not necessarily in the same order. That's fine. That power is dead, and that gives me a chance to heal. That's pretty good. 
like, the auto heal that you get between rounds is pretty good already. But, you know, more healing is always exciting. Wave is so good in this context, where you're always gonna get, like, walls being generated everywhere. Like, the ability to avoid, ignore walls is a good one. Alright, well, I actually used up all my stuff. We gotta do a little bit of that. We gotta do some garbage trimming here. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, 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 Alright, so Wave and Tornado. Yeah, the Azure Wind. Uh, there we go. I don't know if it's good for here, but I'm kinda stuck with some grass in a way. Gotta hate when that happens. So I do wonder, like, is the difficulty you're gonna have a little reliant on what kind of tool you happen about? What if I just put the forest on fire? Is anyone going to complain? Whoa, this thing! Oh yeah, now this is a classic. Get winded on. All right, got some ammo, which is good. All right, everyone's over here. Little bugs! Uh, oh, little football! Uh, yeah, this is, it cannot bear the stench of the burning flames. Well, it's not burning anymore, so now it's just stench of flame. There's just wind everywhere. Right, when you get high rainbow, at some point, like, you're just, your firing rate becomes completely ludicrous. And, like, that's a big part of why you want to accumulate rainbow, right, in real life and in video games. All right, there's a red arrow right there. Check it out. Potato gun! There's a little bird. Are you gonna merge into all these sheep, potato bird? Pocav Delta with the napalm fluff. Yeah, it's it's on fire, all right. <laughs> Your special powers being on fire. You did it. Well, there's the human torch. It's kind of analogous to that. You know, anything sounds ridiculous if you try to make it sound ridiculous. All right, 2883. My DPS isn't as high as it was with all my, like, Desplorderator. Ooh, now we get water added to the mix. That sounds fun. Uh, there is rain, so the wave aspect of my current weapon will make it stronger. These guys are hanging out, you know, having a blast, just making sounds. Uh, I mean, I know I would if that was the one thing I could do, probably. Alright, little buddy, you're gone. So, I repeat that I'm not sure what I'm trying to do. I'm just hoping that, you know, when I encounter what I encounter, I'm aware of it in some way. Well, I'm sure the game will tell me, oh, you've unlocked banana bread or something. And with that said, like, you know, assuming, like, I just kind of get in the middle of something, I'm still going for a, at least a full honest run of... Whatever it is I'm doing. Hey, this is just fun. Like, I... Whoa. It's just like, yeah, just get those colors out. Look at the light. Escape the shadows. Ignore all of your concerns. And eat yourself a piece of bread if you want. Alright, so... Dezabon! Caraballus Fluffin' Dreams! Oh, jeez. Oh. Are you really an endless source of Fluffin' Dreams? Oh, I don't think I've seen you in the main game. In the heart, right? Oh, and you got this weird, like... Fluff zone going on. Okay, you're weird. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. It's okay to be weird. Okay, I ran out of tornado. It was bound to happen. I just got multi bounce here. You know, it's not. It's, I just got bounce here. It's not very exciting. But it is what I have. Look at that. I'm getting a pity target. It's, you know, I, yeah, I remember that. When you kind of run out of stuff, it's like, okay, look, buddy. This is too sad. I can't, I can't, I can't bear with it anymore. I have to give you a little bit of something, and it does. Uh, Alright, so now it's gonna be the boss of the woods! Uh, from your body on the ground? This is kind of chilling and deflating? Yes. Alright, well I can put all these on you. Oh, it's his revenge! Okay, so that's why he was unique. It's because this is a two-tier unique boss. Alright, that's exciting. Alright, um, let's say. Remote grenade seems particularly alright to deal with them. Because like you just kinda of put them there, and you, like you blow it up, and then you run out. You ran out of remote. I ran out of remote. So I'm just gonna kinda wave my laser balls around where you're hovering on this fanciful vine. All these flowers it's the sky! The bus was weird. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Rude. Alright. Ooh, I remember this song. Alright, so here we are. I got a shield. I just guarded. How about that? 
So this guy has a spe special thing where there's no ground, but also you don't like, um, you, you don't fall either. So that's good. I say obvious things. All right, I got a Metroid gun now. All right, how you feel about that? Little guy being very confused to go see look at that see right here. Okay. Um all right, so I just kind of peering right there. Just approaching me and I ignored you. By ignore I mean I shot you in the Uh-oh. Okay, so we got the sun. That is very bad for my wave. I need something better, like stat. Oh, that's gonna be better. Okay, so this will compensate. And there's a shot everywhere. Those are my shots. They behave like enemy shots, but no, no, no. They are fighting for my con. So the sun will make my wave part bad, but my explode part good. So maybe it just kind of rearranges itself. I don't know. All right, so we're back here. Check it out. A homing rocket. Always a good thing to show. Nothing says I love you like a homing rocket. Wave 30 for clear, there's a boss, yo. They're all here, it's a ninja white delta. So it's just gonna be a ninja bunny. But with like, yeah, with an aura. All right, you know, I am understanding how this game works. That's a little bug. Who squeaked? Did you squeak, Mr. Ninja? While you're appearing and disappearing? Nothing says stealth like squeaking. All right, well, my attack is homing, which you would think would be perfect for a little guy that's running away a lot. Shouldn't I not just, like, kind of try and go back, though, and counter ambush? Like, that would be probably the smart thing to do. But, like, I'm not seeing here. Maybe this place is wider. Okay, fair enough. Oh, no, wait, he's downstairs. What are you doing up there? Like, you're making it really awkward for me to get to you, all right? I hope you understand that. I hope not the many pieces that constitute your being realize that. And we're back here. He had a trail of little beautiful flowers. Here we are, squeaky bunny. All over the clock. All right, so I've got ballistic missile. Yeah, I know sometimes remote isn't that remote. Oh, wait, those are like homing shurikens though. They're not really ballistic. Well, I mean, I guess they're ballistic. They do explode on contact. All right, I'm trying to make my way through this thing. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. the explosion there, yes. Check it out, it's the bunny cup. That's right, and you're dead now. Do you realize that? Probably not, I don't, okay. So there's more people appearing down here. Okay, so you got like your little circle. So watch out if you go here. Are those mine? Explosives that were like getting like in that weird little bubble. That's what it looked like. So I don't know if yeah Like I don't know if that guy has do you have to destroy everyone? I don't think you have to destroy like everyone because some of these don't have like any arrows so fair enough All right, I need to get down. That's where the red arrow lies uh, But I can't find it. Is it you? Okay, I guess it was you so maybe you do have to get everyone. All right, it's boss time. Watch out for clock, it's the bouncy white delta! Bunny bounce, bounce! So it's another bunny. You're not a ninja. You're kind of moving weird. You're kind of hard to hit. Okay, so what are we gonna do about that? I got the Kabaton Cannon, which is a lot of fun. But, uh, I'm trying to shoot. Like, the firing rate on this thing is terrible. Which might not be the- Whoa, wait, you're warping here, buddy. Stop that. All right, stop warping. Yeah, 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 you're just kind of, you are ignoring the laws of time and space in a way that I cannot recommend. All right, so I got some health, oh, I got full health left back. Okay, all right. All right, what's gonna happen? The Abyssal King Keeper, Pyphora. Oh, look at that, it's like a, that's sharks. Oh, that, I was about to say, it looks like a cicada, but you know, cicada and sharks, they're related. Here you are. Look at that. I'm hitting you from underneath. Oh, geez. They're hammerheads, too. I say that like that meant anything. All right, buddy. Uh, all right. Managed to hit you there. Oh, yeah. Shark zone in the house. So the sharks have very obvious tells. I I'm not even going to spell them out. They're kind of obvious. All right, here you are. Okay, I like this little boss. 
This level boss was super neat. Thank you for showing up and showing us a good time. Alright, here's a cave!